guys welcome back for vlog workout 14 i've just finished the workout so if you stay tuned you're going to see interval training on the treadmill and then also an interval training on the boxing bag as well see i've already got my wraps on i've just finished round 12 but as you can see the sun's back out again now we're going to be getting a few more boxing bag workouts completed for you guys i hope you enjoy the workout Hit like and subscribe. If you're gonna be doing any sort of sport or fitness, you wanna be making sure your footwear is suitable and you're ready to start the session. Treadmill day today. Just gotta grease the bearings and we can get started. Got the light there, the stand there, the gloves. Right here we've got a century timer. You can set it for two minute, three minute and five minute rounds. So this session, we're going to set it for 12 sets of two minute rounds. The buzz of sound at the start of the set, and then again with 30 seconds to go. So it gives you a bit of a warning. Three different types of training you can do to gain cardiovascular strength and stamina. These are intervals, fartlek and continuous. The rules of these can be used for all levels of fitness at different points in your journey. So today I'm choosing intervals of 2 minutes with a 1 minute rest for 12 rounds. I'm running for a total of 24 minutes at a steady pace. The treadmill I'm using hasn't got a motor and it's powered by your own energy. It's also set to an uphill gradient, which is good for the calves and the legs. There isn't a brake or a power off for the belt, so I tend to hold onto the bars, keeping me in the correct position. A flat set treadmill, where you can increase and decrease the gradient, and also how fast you're actually running, is more suitable for new starters, or those generally just wanting to avoid running uphill. But what I will say though, is this machine is great for those wanting to build the legs, and especially the calves. Remember guys, stretching is always essential, especially if you haven't worked out for a while. So here you can see I'm getting the upper body ready for the boxing bag workout that I'm going to be doing straight after this treadmill. Got to have warm muscles and warm joints due to all the twisting and turning I'm going to be doing in the next segment of the workout. Right and guys, time for the boxing bag segment of this vlog. If you want to see the full boxing bag workout, make sure you subscribe and check out the next video when you actually get a notification. Right, so here you can see I'm using the weights and the Viper to make sure the boxing bag stand stays in place while I'm actually hitting the bag. Again, there's going to be 12 rounds of 2 minutes with a 1 minute rest in between. In this rest time, I want you to keep moving. First off, I want you to drop and give me 20 push-ups. Stand back up, just keep moving. Act like you've got the skipping rope in your hand. Do a bit of shadow boxing. Just stay active while you're waiting for the next round to start. Now, there's no set amount of strikes I want you to be doing during the two minutes. 
Just keep moving, twisting and turning, making the muscles fire up during the session. The more strikes you do, the more punches you actually complete, or the more kicks that you're actually doing. It makes the cardiovascular system work that little bit more. Round nine, three more rounds to go. Right then guys, so that's the session complete. I've finished it in the boxing bag, I've done 12 rounds. Time to put down the equipment now. Generally this takes an hour overall, so it's half an hour to set up and half an hour to set down each way. Yeah, it does seem like it's a little bit of an effort, but that's part of being dedicated. If you're on a fitness journey, you've got the equipment that you're using at your house, you want to set it up neatly, you want to put it away neatly, and make sure everything's set and in the correct place for wherever you're keeping your fitness equipment. Protein shake. This is my favourite type of protein called Mammoth. Four scoops of this is the equivalent to 50 grams of protein. On any given day, I use this shake, I generally have two. Morning before lunch. And then on the evening meal. Right now the guidelines for this shake say you should have it one to three times per day. Two serving with milk will add 2,500 calories to the diet which will help you put on a lot of weight, you're trying to pack on a load of muscle but my focus is solely for the protein which will help with the muscle build and repair. So I tend to use water instead of the milk.
right then guys so what you're going to need for this after workout meal it's only a quick meal you haven't really got to fuss about a lot in the kitchen half an onion and peppers to help with the fat burning which will also help on your stomach one and a half tin of tuna for the protein value of the meal one and a half packet of noodles with low sodium content for the bulking up of the meal preferably choose a flavor that you actually like now the reason i say low sodium is because sodium mixed with chloride produces a lot of salt well this is very bad for the heart when eaten excessively also increases the blood pressure so try foods more often containing low sodium ingredients when you're out shopping One and a half packets. I won't put tuna in these noodles, but I actually like the way the the chicken flavour and taste. Leave on the stove for 10 minutes and then strain the water. Put into a bowl and then add the tuna and mix with sauces for extra flavours. Yeah. Evening meal. Marinate the chicken breast from the night before, or first thing early in the morning. Using all purpose seasoning along with ground black pepper for extra flavours. The chopped onions and peppers also act as a great ingredient for taste as well. Nutrients and minerals are essential when eating to sustain your fitness levels and general body functions. Sweating takes away a lot of these minerals from the body, so replenishment is essential. Place your cut chips into a bowl with cold water to remove the starch. Put onto an oven tray with greaseproof paper and add a small amount of olive oil to get the golden brown after it's cooked. Check in every 10 or 15 minutes they can be very fattening. So eat in moderation and make sure you put them in the oven.
Most meals will be eaten with rice, preferably brown whole grain rice, which doesn't affect your dieting goals. But personally, I just eat what I want and make sure my fitness regimen is adhered to and intense throughout the week. Right then guys, that's your vlog to show you my general day to day training. Meals can vary and can be very sporadic as I'm not keen on sticking to strict dieting. What I tend to do is just stay away from the fattening food, eat every 4 hours, intaking my daily nutrients. Hope this gave you some insight into my standard workout day. Hit like, comment and subscribe and I'll throw up some more. The next videos are boxing bag workout full body with a treadmill session also. Both sessions will be guided. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.